This is the 2016 mid-season report for Scuderia Ferrari F1 team. Ferrari is one of the three teams other than Mercedes and Renault to manufacture both the car and the engine on the grid. They also have a massive budget. A four-time world champion, Sebastian Vettel as their number one driver. Another F1 champ and world rally champ, Kimi Raikkonen as their number two driver. And that is why they started the season as the favourites to challenge Mercedes for their championship. But with continuous mechanical failures, they had a spluttering start to their season, with one of their cars not finishing in the first two races. By the time they got their act together in China, the third race of the season, Mercedes already had a massive lead on them and the rest of the grid. And they, they took uh, five continuous podiums in the next few races. Ferrari's pace was visibly slower than the Mercedes cars and they couldn't get a race win, which became absolutely obvious in Spain when both the Mercs crashed into each other and still Ferrari couldn't capitalize, letting the rookie Max Verstappen in his Red Bull take the race victory, which raised questions like, is Ferrari reeling in the development war? Can it even challenge the Merc engines? And after German, G, uh, German Grand Prix, Ferrari has even lost the second place to Red Bull in points. However, Ferrari team principal Mauricio Eriva Bene is not giving up on the season. He recently fired one of the most famous engineers and Ferrari's technical director, James Allison, who had reportedly become intolerable after his wife's death in March, and called Matteo Binotto to replace him. Damn those Italian names. But the move has left everybody jittery especially the drivers, who seem to be questioning the team's every move, strategy and order, mid-race, even on the radio. So, will the team regain its number two spot? Can it challenge the Mercs in the second half of the season? Or Ferrari will fall into a total chaos? I'm Ishan Alit. We'll find out that for you here on Vector.